We'll stay on the D2 side, though. Let's talk about a former Division II quarterback making his NFL preseason debut with the Chicago Bears. And there he is. The man formerly an Argonaut at the University of West Florida. How about Austin Reed? And you guys might not know him from West Florida, those of you listening. I mean, a lot of you probably do because, let's face it, if you're this far into the video, you're a fan of D2 football. Uh, But a lot of you would know him from Western Kentucky, and we'll talk about that a little bit here. But he did make his debut with the uh, Chicago Bears in the NFL preseason. The game, well, that was one against the Texans, I believe, and it was the one that got postponed just uh, due to weather and things. But before we talk about, you know, he didn't do anything too crazy in the game. I believe he only had, like, two or three – completions for like maybe 10, 15 yards or so. But the fact that he was out there getting reps is definitely really neat. Now, when you look at the Bears, we all know who's uh, slated to be quarterback uh, quarterback one for them uh, heading into the year in Caleb Williams. And then we've got another Division II guy, a true, you know, through and through Division II product, and Tyson Bajant, who's currently QB2 right now for the Bears as far as I'm concerned. So shout out to Chicago for giving some of these uh, quote-unquote small school guys a shot. Tyson Bajant played a good bit last year um, and, and became a really cool story that I know we've covered quite a bit. But Austin Reed is is very much a dude under center and a very dangerous one at that. This is a, uh, a photo of him from the preseason action just the other night under center for Chicago. There he is dropping back. And I wanted to just touch on this dude's stats in the time that he was at West Florida. I don't think you guys understand – this guy was absurd. He was the uh, national freshman of the year, the uh, offensive freshman of the year in the conference. He threw for, in 2019, as a redshirt freshman, 4,090, basically 4,090 yards, oh, almost 300 a game, was 13th nationally. Uh, he was 13-1 and one as a starter after taking over the starting role after week one. He threw for 40 touchdowns, ran for six more, completed 57% of passes, and uh, just like some of these stats are are just ridiculous. Led the Gulf South in passing yards, touchdown passes, and uh, all these other statistical categories. He goes on to uh, Western Kentucky and just has a ridiculous career with, uh, that would be the Hilltoppers, I do believe, correct? Some of the coolest uh, helmets and potential mascot, yeah, Hilltoppers, in, uh, in college football. This dude was uh, an all-conference kind of uh, – Honorable mention type guy, but we had uh, a lot of different accolades under his belt. Looking at the website here, there's so many different things that uh, he was a part of. And he started all 26 games he appeared in during his two years of at Western Kentucky and uh, threw for over 8,000 yards in two years and 71 touchdowns. So, again, it's one thing to say the stats at the D2 level. It's another to go up to the D1 level like that and literally have the same level of production. He threw for 4,000 at D2. Guess what he did? Both years at uh, at Western Kentucky, threw for 4,000 yards. That is ridiculous. He uh, finished his career at Western Kentucky fourth in program history and pass attempts, third in completions, fourth in passing yards, and tied in at sixth for completion percentage. But he's also second in touchdown passes, third in yards, and eighth in wins as a starting quarterback. For a guy that was only there for two years. That's absurd. So, really excited for him. Wanted to make sure I touched on that because uh, we love anytime there's some small school or former small school guys getting a chance over at the pros. But...